Hey guys, welcome back to Thistle Hill Farmstead. Today we've got a little bit of a chore um, to do on the mower. Uh, the other day I was cutting and uh, the, uh, the mower just stopped going. So I think the uh, traction drive belt has broken on the mower. So uh, the first thing we have to do is get it into the garage and I've got the belt and we'll go ahead and do that belt replacement. So let's see if we can get it done. Welcome back to Thistle Hill Farmstead. Today, we're gonna to have to work on our John Deere Z920M mower. The other day I was mowing and it just stopped going and I got off and took a look and the traction drive belt had broken. So I kinda of had to leave it sitting right here in the field. And uh, then of course, that night uh, it rained, so that's not good for it. That's why I have the seat propped up so that uh, it didn't get full of rain. But the first thing I'm about to do is uh, get it into the garage and I've got the new belt and we'll go ahead and replace that traction drive belt today. I'm gonna need to pull this mower into the garage using either my ATV or the golf cart. And before you move or pull, a mower like this with hydrostatic drives on it you need to disengage the drives and on this particular mower there's a couple of levers down here there's one right here on this side you pull that lever out and that disengages the uh, hydrostatic drive and there's one on the other side there I need to go over and pull it out and when you do that uh, as I said it disengages the hydrostatic drives and then you're able to pull the mower without damaging uh, the hydrostatic units. So you don't want to try to pull it uh, while those drives are engaged or you could damage your drives. So now that I've got uh, those uh, disengaged, I should be able to hook up uh, the ATV or the golf cart and uh, pull it into the garage. Here's the belt that uh, the traction drive belt that came out of it and uh, as you can see it is pretty mangled so we'll get that replaced
Whew, that booger is heavy. Okay, so I got it in the garage now. And uh, we're ready to take a look at it. Let's see how the little chicks are doing. Hey guys, you guys doing okay? Growing. All right, I'll get the, uh, the back end of it jacked up and uh, we'll get this new belt put on. I do have the belt, it's right here. Oh, let's see what it is. It is a TCU34. Two nine nine, and that should be the same as what came off of it but I'll check it against the length before I start the work so let me put you on the tripod and we'll get going let's take a look at the belt and see if it is the right length uh, this is the old belt that came off and I know it's hard to tell sometimes once they've been mangled up and stretched like this but Let's look and see if it's close. Man, this one looks, it looks longer, but I could have got a piece eaten up. I'll have to look up in there. Of course, all these dingly wingly bits here, they may be, uh, they may be where part of the belt used to be, but is not there any longer. Uh, yeah, so. I guess, yeah, you look at those fibers there and that. So that's, that's probably the right one. Okay, well, let's get it on there. First thing I need to do is jack this boy up and put it on some uh, blocks or some um, jack stands. Okay, here we are under the mower and uh, get my light here. So we can see here's the pulley that the uh, traction drive belt rides on and then it goes up to the uh, the hydrostatic pulleys there that have the uh, the fan on it there and there so to get that uh, belt on there I'm going to take this belt off which is the uh, belt that drives the the deck blades and then uh, We'll have to disconnect the uh, clutch uh, wiring harness here and then we should be able to slide that belt on and there's the belt tensioner right there um, and it has a half inch square notch in it that you can put a half inch drive in and kind of pull it back and get the uh, the belt on there so let me put you on the tripod and we'll get going before I can take that belt off of the pulley in the back, I need to release the tension on that belt. And to do that, I need to pull off this foot plate here. And that'll give me access to this uh, idler pulley or the belt tensioner pulley here in this spring. And I just need to pull the spring off like that. And that releases the tension on that idler pulley. And now I can take that belt off of the PTO shaft in the back. Also, uh, before I can put that new belt on, I need to remove the wiring harness from the PTO, and that's this harness right here. So to do that, I just need to raise up this little clip here, pull it out, and then uh, remove the zip tie, and I'll be able to push it down through the frame and get that out of the way. This is a bit hard to film, but I will do my best. Uh, now we're back under the mower and you see that I have the, um, now that I have the, the tension spring off of the deck blades belt, I can just pull this uh, belt off back here. And then here is our wiring harness for the PTO clutch. And yeah, it looks like I've got a little bit of that belt, <laughs> the old belt wrapped around the PTO here. Yeah, hopefully I'll get, be able to get that out. Uh, so now we're ready to start putting our new traction drive belt in. There's one other item that has to come off before I can get the belt on. There's a uh, 
a bar here that is meant to keep the belts on the pulleys. Uh, and for me to get the traction drive belt up around this assembly here, the clutch assembly, I've got to loosen this enough so that the belt will slide between there and get it up. And then I'll be able to work it around the, uh, the uh, hydrostatic pulleys. So let's loosen this. I think that's maybe a half inch or nine sixteenths. We'll see. Okay, it seems I was wrong on both counts. That is a 15 millimeter uh, bolt up there, so or nut. So I will take those off and uh, we'll get that little retainer bar off of there. I think that's going to be good enough. Let's try it. So there's the first one on or around <clears throat> that uh, the pulley or the, the hydro pulley over there. Now I've got to get over here and get it around this one. So again, I know when I slide up in there, you're not really able to see what's going on, but that's what I'm doing. Up on here, so I'm gonna lay the phone down here, or the camera rather, down here and see. Hopefully you're in frame. Don't know, we'll see. We'll find out later.
Okay, I'm not sure how much of that you could see on the camera, but let me recap here. Okay, I do have the, uh, the belt around this uh, hydro pulley here. I've got it around this one also, and I was mistaken when I said you need to take this loose because this actually I had the belt routing wrong. This actually keeps the belt from kind of jumping back, so it could have been left the way it was. And then it comes out of the one hydro pulley, comes around the drive pulley and back around the tensioner. And what I've done, <clears throat> I was trying to get it onto the tensioner first, but that seemed to be a bit difficult. So I've just looped it around the shaft here. So I still don't have it on this pulley yet. And then what I'm gonna do is pull the tensioner with the wrench and then see if I can pop it onto this back pulley here. So let's see if that works. So I hope that you can see this. Okay, but uh, so I did get the, uh, the traction drive built back on. So it is here. You see it's around this pulley, which is the uh, left hydrostatic drive pulley. It's around this one, which is the right hydrostatic drive pulley. And it comes around the, the uh, belt tensioner. And then finally around the, uh, the actual drive shaft clutch. And uh, here is the, uh, the belt for the deck. I've put it back on, I've tightened this bar back up, I've tightened everything back up. I've run my uh, wire for the clutch back up through the deck. I just need to take some zip ties and make sure that's tied back out of the way so it doesn't get into any of the belts. So I believe that's it. And uh, it was hard to film and I apologize for it if I didn't get uh, much of what was going on in here, but it's tough to get up under the mower and film like this. But hopefully I got enough so that you can uh, reproduce it if you have to do it yourself. I'm going to reconnect the wiring harness for the PTO shaft. It was running up through this little hole in the back here, but um, for some reason that really left a lot of wire hanging out, and I was afraid that was going to get tangled up in the belt even though I'm going to zip tie it back. So what I did was I moved it uh, and just brought it up through the little hole where the oil drain uh, comes out and I'm just going to wrap it around the uh, throttle and choke cables here so that uh, it's going to stay nice and tight. I'm going to connect it back together make sure this little clip is down. And I'll zip tie that and I'll go underneath and, and zip tie it so that uh, it'll stay out of the way of the belt. Now I'm going to reconnect the uh, tension spring for the uh, belt tensioner, blade belt tensioner. There we go. So that's back connected. Everything's good. All right, and then we'll just put this foot plate back in. There we go. So we should be ready to go. I'll just take it off the jacks and we'll take her out for a test spin. Now the last thing I need to do before I can test it is I have to re-engage the hydrostatic units. And I do that by pushing these levers that I pulled out previously back in. There we go. They're both back in. And that will re-engage the hydrostatic units. Now we should be able to uh, test it out.
Okay, so that's it for replacing the traction drive belt on our John Deere Z920M mower. Thanks again for watching, and as always, if you found this video helpful or interesting, please give me a like. It really helps the channel out a lot. And remember to subscribe to keep up to date with all of our videos, and ring that bell notification so that anytime I post a new video, you'll get notified. Thanks again, and take care.